I will log into the Intune portal to define the autopilot deployment configuration profile. The URL is intune.microsoft.com. This is the admin account with which I'm already logged in. And uh, I will first unassign the deployment of the previous configuration profile. If I take you to the devices on the left, I have the device enrollment under device onboarding. Under the enrollment, I will see the device profile. Here are the autopilot related settings. And if I take you to the deployment profiles for the devices, I have Contoso profile one. I will select this profile and edit the assignment of this profile to remove that device group where the workstation where I want to do the refresh is already part of it. I will go to the assignment and edit. This is the IT devices group where this deployment profile was assigned. I will remove it and save it. Now I will create a new profile for the autopilot deployment and this time this create profile button from there I will choose the Windows PC and the name for this deployment profile this is profile 2 just a friendly name you can provide the description for details for understanding of your colleagues or team members convert all target devices to autopilot no this is the out of box experience mode last time I used the user driven this time I will show you the self deploying mode you will notice that as soon as go with self deploying mode most most of the options have been grayed out the self deploying mode is used for kiosk devices or the devices where i want to do the unattended deployment of windows through autopilot the operating system default is the language region that is selected automatically configure the keyboard yes apply the device name template so i want the device name template as well because i will not be providing it in manually a name. So this will be a variable that will be provided. You can uh, provide this name that can be up to 15 characters or less and can contain the small or capital letters, numbers and the hyphens. This is the variable that has been used to provide a random name for this device. And I will finally do the assignment I will do the assignment to the same group of IT devices where the target device is a member of. The assignment will be to this device group. Select and next. The profile has been created. Now it is time to test this profile. For this autopilot deployment profile to test, I will switch to the device the device is actually starting with desktop you will see this under all devices i have four windows devices here i can click on this tile as well to see the devices in the previous video of autopilot deployment in user driven mode we deployed the windows to this desktop the device starting with this prefix well, I have options to retire, wipe, delete or autopilot reset. I have ellipsis button where from I will get additional options in case of the small screens or screen resolution problems. You may find this option after clicking on the ellipsis. Well, this button is autopilot reset here. I will do the autopilot reset for this desktop. Windows autopilot reset quickly removes the personal files, applications and settings. It resets the devices running Windows 10 and later from the lock screen and applies original management settings from the Microsoft Entra ID and Intune device management. This returns the device to a fully configured and known IT approved state. This is the deployment I'm going to do and uh, we'll click on yes after checking all the details of this assignment now autopilot reset has been initiated we'll go to the desktop and we'll restart this machine 
to initiate this autopilot reset. This is the workstation which is supposed to be used for autopilot reset. I will restart this device, start and shut down or sign out and click restart. Getting windows ready, don't turn off your computer. It will take some time. I have logged in with my work or school account. And the password for this account. So this starts loading the profile. Might take several minutes. Click OK to set up the Windows Hello and perform the multi-factor authentication. Here we go. Click OK. It will prompt me for the multi-factor authentication. I will complete the authentication and will set a new pin to this device because the device has been reset. Well, here I'll provide a new pin and confirm this pin and log into this device. All set, click OK. I click on start and go to the settings app to synchronize this device to load the latest security policies and the configurations for this. For this, I'll go to access work or school account on the left. This is connected to Contoso Entra ID. I'll click on info and will trigger the synchronization from here. Well, this is how we perform the autopilot reset on Windows devices. I hope this was informative to you. Thanks for watching.